Hi friends in this video we will see how to configure overtime policy in cosec for network hours based overtime calculation basic requirements cosec centra v12 or higher version time and attendance license Let us go through the configuration now. We will complete the configuration in two steps. First, configure new overtime policy and assign network hours policy to it. Second, daily, weekly, monthly overtime configuration. Let us move on to the first step to configure new overtime policy and assign network hours policy to it. go to time and attendance module followed by policies select the overtime policy click on plus icon to add a new policy assign the name as desired to the new overtime policy check default flag to make the policy as default if this flag is checked a new user created will be assigned this overtime policy directly policy period will be set as default select the network policy from the pick list check calculation on wo ph fp rd as per weekdays flag if required if this flag is checked calculation on wo ph fp rd will work as per normal weekday if wo ph wo or ph fp or rd's configuration is not available check calculation on restricted holiday as per ph flag if required if this flag is checked calculation on full day restricted holiday will work as per ph for half day it will work as per weekday go to overtime configuration section check enable overtime calculation flag If this flag is checked then overtime calculation will be enabled for all users to whom this network hours and OT policy would be applicable There are two overtime configurations available Daily overtime select the days of the week which are to be considered for daily overtime calculation Weekly or monthly overtime select the days of the week which are to be considered for weekly or monthly overtime calculation in this case we will select the daily overtime configuration go to daily overtime and check flag for days to be considered for calculation Now go to overtime rounding for fraction of an hour and check enable flag if required if this flag is checked system administrator can specify how a fractional part of an hour in the final overtime value should be considered for calculation click on plus icon specify the range of overtime hours in minutes which is to be rounded off and select the replace value as actual or fixed value 
consider case 1. where range specified for overtime calculation is from 1 minute to 20 minutes and value considered is actual if the user's overtime is for 8 minutes and if actual value is to be considered then 8 minutes will be considered in overtime calculation. Consider case 2. where range specified for overtime calculation is from 1 minute to 20 minutes and value considered is fixed with the replaced value as 10 minutes. If the user's overtime is for 8 minutes and if fixed value is to be considered, then 10 minutes will be considered in overtime calculation. This completes the first step of configuring new overtime policy and assigning network hours policy to it. Let us move on to the second step to configure daily or weekly or monthly overtime. Go to daily overtime followed by overtime calculation. There are two options available for overtime calculation. Daily 1. Select this option for calculation of overtime based on shift timings as per component, early in, overstay and work hours within shift. Daily 2. Select this option for network hours based overtime calculation. Consider a scenario. An employee is to be given overtime only if he has worked for minimum 8 hours, that is, network hours, on a regular day. That is, if an employee has worked for 10 hours on a regular day, then 10 minus 8 is equal to 2 hours are considered in overtime. If employee works on week off or public holiday, then the total work hours must be considered in overtime. That is, if employee works for 10 hours on week off or public holiday, then the 10 hours must be considered in overtime. We will select daily 2 in this case. Check auto authorize overtime component flag if this flag is checked it enables automatic authorization of daily overtime in case if the flag remains unchecked the reporting in charge or administrator can authorize the overtime check authorization required for latent flag if required if this flag is checked latent is to be authorized by system administrator or reporting in charge. Check allow overlapping work components flag if required. If this flag is checked, overlapping of work components ranges is to be allowed. It may be useful when some spatial OT is required to be granted if the user works within some special time range along with the existing grant OT. Specify spatial OT time range in HHMM format if required. For spatial OT time range, spatial OT is to be given to the person who has worked in this time range. Now go to work component configuration and click on plus icon to add a new work component. Specify the network hours range as desired. We will specify range from as 8 hours. And range 2 as 23 hours 59 minutes. 
the from and to range is the minimum and maximum hours for which the work component will be considered for calculation of overtime. Select the minimum duration required as 1 minute. Minimum duration required within the work component range must be fulfilled by the employee. Only then the work component will be considered in overtime calculation. Select work component consider as as OT1 from the drop down list. There are 5 different OT components as OT1, OT2, OT3, OT4 and OT5. These components are used to differentiate OT calculations. Check flag for the applicable days on which work component is counted. We will select Sunday to Saturday in this case. Select the factor from the drop down list. We will select factor as 1 in this case. Consider an example where Overtime calculated for the component is 4 hours and factor assigned to the component is 0.5. Therefore, total overtime for the component will be 4 hours into factor that is 0.5 is equal to 2 hours. Select overtime assignment as per from the drop down list. There are two options available. Priority work component. If priority work component is selected, then overtime will be considered as per the assigned work time in work component configuration. Spatial time range. If spatial time range is selected, overtime will be considered as per the spatial OT time range. We will select priority work component in this case. Click on OK icon to save the work component. Click on plus icon to add a new work component. Specify the network hours range as desired. We will specify range from as 0 hours and range 2 as 23 hours 59 minutes. Select the minimum duration required as 1 minute. Select work component consider as as OT1 from the drop down list. Check flag for the applicable days on which work component is counted. We will select WO, PH, WO and PH in this case. Select the factor from the drop down list. We will select factor as 1 in this case. Select overtime assignment as per priority work component from the drop down list. Click on OK icon to save the work component. Let us consider various examples in order to understand the configuration. Consider an example for a regular working day. Shift timing is from 9 to 18. Punch 1 at 7 hours 30 minutes. Punch 2 at 21 hours. Considering the three work components, we will calculate the network hours for each component as configured in the assigned network hours policy. Early in 1 hour 30 minutes minus 0 minutes that is early in start range is equal to 1 hour 30 minutes greater than minimum duration required so net early in is equal to 1 hour 30 minutes work hours within shift 8 hours minus 
zero minutes that is work hours within shift start range is equal to 8 greater than minimum duration required so network hours within shift is equal to 8 hours overstay 3 hours minus 0 minutes that is overstay start range is equal to 3 hours greater than minimum duration required so overstay component is equal to 3 hours Therefore, network hours for all the three components is 12 hours 30 minutes. Now, let us calculate overtime based on network hours. Overtime policy configuration Overtime is equal to network hours minus work component start range is equal to 12 hours 30 minutes minus 8 hours is equal to 4 hours 30 minutes that is greater than minimum duration required. Therefore, overtime considered will be 4 hours 30 minutes. Consider an example for public holiday. Punch 1 8 hours Punch to 20 hours. Considering the three work components, we will calculate the network hours for each. Early in 1 hour minus 0 minutes, that is, early in start range is equal to 1 hour, that is, greater than minimum duration required. So, net early in is equal to 1 hour. Work hours within shift 8 hours minus 0 minutes that is work hours within shift start range is equal to 8 hours that is greater than minimum duration required. So, Network hours within shift is equal to 8 hours. Overstay 2 hours minus 0 minutes that is overstay start range is equal to 2 hours that is greater than minimum duration required. So net overstay is equal to 2 hours. Therefore, network hours for all the three components is 11 hours. Now, let us calculate overtime based on network hours. Overtime policy configuration Overtime is equal to network hours minus work component start range is equal to 11 hours minus 0 minutes is equal to 11 hours that is greater than minimum duration required therefore overtime considered will be 11 hours we can view the daily attendance of the user in the t and a module followed by daily attendance view under utilities this completes the entire configuration. Similarly, we can configure the weekly or monthly overtime configuration. Thank you for watching this video. For further queries and support, contact Matrix Technical Support Team.